I mean, I just always love a six-man game. That's all I've played, uh, being a rural boy. When I was in high school, Coach Reed had us a story, and he was talking about, you know, when you build a house, which first I always try to tell him, you know, we've got to rebuild the foundation. And I felt like last year, you know, that was kind of our main deal is we got to relay the foundation of the program. We're gonna build this, build this house and build this, you know, this mansion just brick by brick. And what I mean by that is, you know, you come in every single day, you take it day by day, and you win that day, and then you, and then you put that brick on there. And the next day you come in, you put that brick on there. And over time, before you know it, that's gonna be a, a, a house. But you just take it day by day and not really look to the future, but just focus on the here and now because that's all we can control. You get a guy. And you, get, and you tell these young men, like, you know, you have what it takes, man. I believe in you. You know, it's amazing what what kids will do for you when they know you truly care about them. They're just so used to coaches coming in and saying, hey, I'm going to stick around. And then they don't, and they leave. And I think it's kind of the same thing, like, okay, coach, I know you're from rural, but, you know, I really, you know, let's see, you know, if you stick around. Well, then I, I did end up sticking around, and that, that buy-in just came on even more. And, Man, I tell you what, these kiddos, I mean, they do what I ask of them. And uh, I mean, I'm not saying, I mean, there's bumps and stuff along the road sometimes, but I've been just so proud of them. They bought in, they wanna, they want to get real better. Hey, you got a freaking touch! You know, win or lose, it doesn't matter, we gotta get better. I mean, like, you know, sometimes if we win a game, I tell them, yeah, it doesn't matter, gotta get better. If we lose a game, doesn't matter, get better. If you have that mindset, you're always, you're just never content with where you're at, whether you're whether you're being really good. Because even if you're a really top team and you're number one in the state, there's still something that you can get better at. Or if you're on the flip side and you're at the bottom, well then, it's just if you always have that mindset of hey, there's always something to get better. You're never satisfied with where you're at. You're never content. I just feel like if you live your life that way, you're just it's just going to get better every day. Where I really truly uh, feel like if my if I did my job is ten years down the road, if they call me and they say, man, coach, I'm married. I've got a job, you know, I've got some kids, I've, I'm supporting them. To me, that's the rule way, just them getting, being a better man. To this kid, family might mean, you know, X or whatever. This kid at family mean Y. And if you just say family to that kid, it's like, okay, well, I, I know family is this, I know family is this. Whereas I want to try to teach them, hey, what a family is, is where you truly put other people above yours, you know, above yourself. So it's forget about me, I love you, I'm going to put you ahead of me. You know, it's amazing when you're a dad and you're a husband and all this stuff that you've got going on, you literally have to just put all those people in, like in front of you because they're relying on you and, and you just got to pull yourself aside and try not to be me, you know, and uh, just focus on them and just be selfless. And, you know, the natural thing is, is you want to be selfish. I mean, that's everybody. You, there's Everyone has tendencies to be selfish. I think sometimes our society wants to be a little more like about my me, me, me. And so I try to really stress like, hey, what a real man does, what a real family guy does is he puts others in front of himself. What a good teammate does, all that stuff ties together and that's what it is. Thank yes, sir, baby. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. Good job. And we've really stressed that and the kids have really bought into that. And that's why I wanted to put that on the back of the jerseys because that's in how important it is to me that I want them to realize, hey, you know, yeah, we have role on the front and on the back it's family. So it's nothing about you. I want it all about, you know, your brothers, this community. Each and every one, you understand that? Don't forget that. I'm proud of you guys. I know I yell at you guys a lot of stuff, cause I, but it's because I love you, man. I want what's best for you. I love this place, man. I'm telling you. I love Rule. I'm glad I'm here. These guys are hey, we're about to we're about to do something special this year, guys. I promise you. We are. We are. We are. Woo! Here we go. Family on three. One, two, three. Hey, good job, fellas.